This is the NXT touchscreen e-bike interface. It's being developed and produced by Electric Race Technologies. The reason for its existence is twofold. The first is to give riders much greater control over their e-bikes, improving their riding experience. The second, it will help to reduce customer issues, speed up service times and give much greater reliability to ERT products. The ASI controllers are incredible bits of kit, but they're not that user friendly. In order for them to be user friendly, it requires them to be programmed. For the end user, the only interaction comes from the bike's display. The guys at Eggrider made a good start, but it was always going to be a struggle due to the hardware being quite limited in its power and scope. It's also a very time consuming process to work with an independent third party like Eggrider that has multiple controller ecosystems that their product needs to work with. So the basic idea of the NXT is to give the rider much greater control over their ASI controller and as a result much greater control over the performance of their bike. A huge plus point is that it will also give ERT a completely in-house solution to the entire system. So no more need to use the Bafang harness cables. No need to ensure the display operates correctly. The user will simply buy their motor of choice and then the controller harness and NXT from ERT. Bugs can be recreated, tested and eliminated much more quickly than if a third party display is involved. It promises to be a much more robust and responsive way of doing things and I hope that it makes building an e-bike much more accessible, reliable and enjoyable to ride and use. I became involved in the project about five months ago, initially with the case designs and then with on-screen graphics and testing. In fact, the whole project has been very much a collaborative effort with huge contributions from test groups and 3D printers. It's probably why the project has been able to deliver so quickly and why it will be able to continue to innovate and develop going forward. It's turning traditional manufacturing development on its head to some degree. But enough chatting and I will show some of the key features that will be available to riders as it starts to roll out for the different motor systems. So if we go here off the main menu and we click on the ride tuning page, um, what we can see here is that we have throttle and assist. So at the moment this is the throttle, uh, but you also have sport and eco mode and you can set things independently. So if I click on the throttle power here for 3300 watts um, on eco mode, I can then dial it down to 1600 watts. So, you know, I click OK there and you can see it's updated me to 1600 watts maximum on eco mode. And that again is, is totally independent. Um, if I then click on assist, you then get the uh, assist levels and you could set a different one for eco or sport mode and you could also select another set of levels right so if I was to pick nine here you can see I've got nine assist levels for sport mode and five assist levels for eco mode so if you were riding on trails for example maybe you want nine levels for fine control but on the road maybe you only wanted three levels um, so it's completely independent and the throttle again is completely independent so you can set it for both and pads and throttle don't don't interact with each other so the throttle will always be 3300 watts regardless of what pads level you've got um, which is pretty much a game changer because I don't think there's any other e-bike system that works like that um, now you also have, um, if I click on this, you can also set an independent speed limit for each of the different modes um, or have it completely unlimited. So unlike most displays where you're stuck with the basic options, um, it looks how it looks, this is going to give you considerable customization. Uh, if you don't like the main screen, pick a different one. So uh, at the moment we're going to have two versions uh, with day and night in each. Um, so if I click on here and I click on day night and then I exit here. It loads up the new screen. 
and you have the day night mode so this one shows up really well in bright conditions um, and then if we were at night time we click on here and it flips it over to the inverse um, which shows up much better at night when you want less brightness um, so then if I click here and then click on the display menu again and then I click on the NXT gauge Oops. and then exit there exit there and then it boots up this alternate there is going to be a day version of this um, just haven't quite finished getting the uh, getting the graphics ready for that um, but then yeah so there'll be these two at the moment but there's a lot more that I'm working on a lot more ideas and those will be uh, coming up very very soon So this little icon here with the eye is what's called motor idling. And it's kind of a neat little feature that keeps a little bit of residual power going through your drivetrain when you come off the throttle or when you stop pedaling. So it gets rid of the snap that you get. So if I drop down here on the bike and I give it a quick spin at the pedals, PAS engages. And as soon as I stop pedaling, PAS disengages. So it's a very stop, Right, so it stopped, start, stop, start. Right, and the reality is on the road or on the trail or wherever you are, that creates a very snap, snap, snap. Right, so if I click on the eye here and engage motor idling, when I do the same, you see how it keeps it going and it keeps it moving. So then when I pedal again, it puts the amount of power through that I want to go, but it keeps it moving a bit. And then if I turn it off here, and it dies down to nothing. Now this residual power is not enough to launch you into a tree or through a bush or off the edge of the trail but it is enough to take the snap out of the chain. And the neat feature is, if this is something you don't like, you can just turn it on or off, just like that. So here, if I click on the stats icon, it takes you into the bike ride stats. So we can see that it's the back 800, it's the Bafang BBS HD, it's running a nominal 52 volt battery, and the NXT firmware is currently 1.45 beta. Um, clicking on the battery, um, I haven't done a ride today, so it hasn't actually got any information, but it will give you the voltage min, the voltage sag, the voltage maximum, as well as the minimal watts, maximum watts, and the maximum current that's been through. Uh, the motor one, again, it will give you the max RPM of a ride, the max current you've used. Um, there's no temperature with the BBSHD, um, so that one will remain blank. And then the odometer um, for the trip, again, I just wheeled it outside, so it's got a max speed of 2, odometer, um, and also the, the trip meter. Another feature that I think people are going to like is the, the battery select options. So if I click on the battery here, and it gives you the option to actually choose what pack you have and view various, uh, various information about it. So if I click up on the 52 volt here, it's actually only giving me a selection between 48 volts and 52 volts. Um, but if you had a 72 volt pack on there, it would give you different options. So the coding is actually only giving you really the options that are relevant to you, uh, which is pretty neat. But either way, that's the battery select and you don't have to change anything um, with parameters or programming. You can just plug it in, pick the battery you want and all the current limits and everything will be set for that particular battery. Um, so we can view, for example, some information here and it gives you the, uh, the various protection limits and information there on that one. When you consider that Alan has achieved all of this in less than a year, it's pretty remarkable. But this is literally the tip of the iceberg. The display will be continually developed. New features will be added over the coming months and users can expect to access these just by updating their NXT. 
We're actually setting up a beta testing group for the BBS HD and we're looking for enthusiastic riders to help test out these new features. The more input from the e-bike community, the better the NXT can be. If you're interested in being part of a user group, drop me a message. I hope this video gives people more of an idea of what to expect and there'll be lots more on the NXT coming soon. Cheers.